Composite View lets you quickly and easily apply processing to a number of audio files all at once. RX already provides an option for batch processing, which can be set up in the Batch Processing window, accessible from the Window menu or by shortcut, Command-B. But Composite View is a quick way to group a number of already open audio files and process them together, potentially a helpful workflow enhancement. It's very simple. At the top of the RX main window are the tabs for any audio files that are currently open. If more than one file is open, you'll also see this symbol. A click here will group all the open files into one tab, the Composite View tab, and you can then select a process or processes to apply to all the files at once. Here's an example of a typical application for this. I've opened up several vocal files from the same session. The lead vocal. The past is distorted by the prism of time. And three harmony parts. Prism of time. I'll group them all into one composite tab. The past is distorted by the prism of time Refracting images that deceive the mind Since they're all the same singer performing multiple overdubbed vocal parts, they were all recorded with the same setup, mic, room, etc. So it wouldn't be surprising if they all needed the same processing. I've set up a module chain with some typical vocal processors that address common vocal issues. Breath control for excessive breath sounds between phrases. Mouthy click for lip smacks. Deplosive for peepops. And DS for sibilance. If the recording engineer maintained consistent settings when recording these parts, and the singer, the studio professional, was also consistent as far as her overall level, tone, and mic position, then the same settings for all those processing modules should be able to be applied successfully to all the tracks at once as they're grouped together in the Composite tab. When all the module settings are made, Render will apply the processing to all the composited files. Once you're done, another click on the Composite View symbol will separate the audio files again and you're ready to move on to other file-specific tasks. There are a few limitations to using Composite View. The sample rates for all the grouped files have to match, otherwise you'll get an error message. Some functions don't work in Composite View. For example, the usual compare function that lets you try out and compare different settings in a processor is not available in this mode. Certain modules don't work in Composite View. Specifically, the utility modules I covered under the chapter heading of Channel Operations, Mixing, Azimuth, and Channel Extract. Some displays don't function in Composite View. Certain readouts like Declips Number of Clips readout won't show, though the processing will still be done. If the spectrogram display is relevant to the editing you're doing, it'll show a composite view of all the files included in the Composite View tab. If a Learn feature is used when processing in Composite View, it'll use the first audio file in the Composite tab, the file whose tab was first leftmost in the window when the Composite tab was created. If you need to change which audio file that is, you can ungroup the files and move the most appropriate file to the beginning, the far left, and then regroup them back into the Composite View tab. And finally, if you're using Composite View with files of different lengths, They'll all take on the length of the longest file after processing. The shorter files will be padded out with silence, making them a bit larger, depending on the length of that longest file. That might seem like a long list of caveats, but if you think about it, they're all common sense limitations or behaviors. For more complex batch processing scenarios, the batch processing window provides even more flexibility and can run in the background, but for most applications, Composite View will provide the intended workflow enhancement a quick way to process a bunch of usually related audio files all in one go. Next up, Repair Assistant.